so as usual, I was scrolling Twitter. And I have to say that this situation with Nintendo is actually kind of interesting. I would have to say it's one of the crazier situations that you'll see when it comes to Nintendo and their creators that like to put out content of their games. And that's really it. Funny enough, there was a situation where Nintendo made a YouTuber take down a video of sexual content. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen before, I did a video a very long time ago where a VTuber basically got to like changing the ink color was able to have a green screen on their like you know the actual game of Splatoon but this situation seems to like deal with actually talking about sexual content or like what's been going on in certain people's lives I didn't know that Nintendo could like get somebody to take a video down but that that's kind of a flex in my opinion but the article actually says Nintendo takes down popular YouTubers video promoting sexual encounters through Splatoon in just 20 hours and i have to say that i would have to say that that person is probably really upset about it i don't know like if like is it really that crazy if they're all of age is it that bad to like talk about i, I don't know maybe i'm, I'm just, i find that a little interesting nintendo recently took down a video by a popular splatoon co content creator lodging a complaint within 20 hours after the video went live on youtube as reported by utora the creator in question is liora channel who has over 274K subscribers at the time of writing and is known for posting Let's Play videos and guides for Nintendo family friendly TPS Splatoon 3. Wow, that's actually kind of like a crazy thing to happen with that, that big of a like content creator. I have to say like, I feel like people were, were reporting them and that's probably what got that to like go down. Maybe parents were upset. The video that prompted Nintendo Swift action was not simple let's play. However, on August 22nd, Lyra Channel uploaded a video in which they interviewed so-called Splatoon girls or female players of Splatoon 3. The interviewer takes a sexual tone as the question dwells into their experience of meeting up with high ranked male Splatoon players in real life and about how these encounters often result in casual sexual relationships. Wait. <laughs> Bro, first of all, I have to say that this is actually kind of insane just to tell you that how big Splatoon is in Japan. And you have to realize that like for a situation to even like come up with like, could you imagine, don't get me wrong, people have met in America with like Splatoon, not saying that. I feel like this is like to a point where it's like, yo, like high rank Splatoon player. Like that's really what I'm trying to get to. And that's kind of interesting in my opinion, to, to say the least. Reportedly, the content creator also offered advice on how to graduate from virgin. <laughs> no, he did it. No, he didn't. In the video, which given Splatoon's E for everyone rating and popularity among children was harshly criticized by the public. There's no way that this is real. Like, I, I actually have to say this. Likely in response to reports from users online, I, exactly what I said, there were users online that were definitely complaining about this and there were parents that definitely complained about this nintendo promptly requested a takedown of the video as confirmed by lira channel themselves on the 23rd they commented on their personal x account since nintendo has directly told me that the video is unacceptable i'll be careful not to mix sexual topics with nintendo's content from now on on that note nintendo's term of use or their website and user services explicitly forbid creation of user content that engages in obscene or otherwise objectionable conduct. Games with young player demographics are known targets for predators, resulting in crimes such as grooming and sexual assault of minors, according to data offered by Bloomberg via PC Gamer. Since 2018, police in the US have arrested at least two dozen people accused of abducting or abusing victims they'd met or groomed using Roblox. Yeah, it's a very big problem. It, it's something where parents just do not pay attention. I have to say that a lot of the negligence that's been going on with like the online world. And when you realize, especially when it comes to a platform like X, that there are 13 year olds and maybe even younger on that platform. And I know that people are watching and being like, yeah, like whatever. Nah, it's kind of crazy when you think about it at this point. Like I was there when I was younger, but like it wasn't like it is now, in my opinion. 
Nintendo Splatoon has also been affected by such cases as a 2023 told the arrest of a woman who was accused of stalking and pursuing romantic relationship with a minor she contacted through the game. Wow. Against this background, it's easy to see how potentially harmful a video from a popular content creator encouraging people to pursue sexual encounters through Splatoon could be. Thankfully, it seems Nintendo is taking proactive measures to keep the game safe. So I'm going to be real. I get that at that point. Like if you explain it like that, that actually does make sense. It would be kind of like a little bit weird for Nintendo to encourage people to meet up with people in the game, just to like do those type of things or like, you know, encouraging people that especially with their kid focused game, I would have to guess that like, especially in Japan, a lot of kids love Splatoon. So I would definitely think that there would be parents that would have complained and like sent in things to Nintendo and were like, yo, can you guys please take this video down? So I think it's just the association with that. And maybe it's the type of channel that they have also. You've seen these things before. Like it's the whole reason I, if I remember correctly with like Kappa, that was that whole conversation with that. So it's not anything out of the norm. So I guess Nintendo did what they did to basically protect their IP and basically the young nature of kids that are out there. So wait, there's actually more. I'm not even lying. There was the other article about this and it was basically talking about the fact that there was more to the whole like actual situation. I won't read into like the whole entire thing again, but there were a couple of things that they actually brought up. After this, Riolo released a morally questionable video within the context of a game that children play in which she gives advice on how to lose one's virginity. The video was 15 minutes long and had over 100,000 views. However, it soon drew criticism for trying to boost views and showing no remorse for his past scandals involving women. So there seems to be actually something from the past that actually was brought up about this. It's kind of a, 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 a shaky situation. And they basically were like, you know, saying that Nintendo, the publisher of Splatoon 3, took the negative impact of the video very seriously. As a result of the direct complaint, the video was removed just 20 hours after it was released. Riola himself expressed his feelings about this treatment on his own account in the afternoon of the 23rd. So I can see now with that, that a little bit more explanation that it was taken a little bit like serious because of the fact that it was like something in the nature of telling people to do something. I, I, I think if you were to like be on Sesame Street and like that came out, parents would lose their mind. But they did tweet out and it said this, well, it's true that this video was a bit too much. And in my heart, I thought it might be a bit risky. But my goal of wanting to increase my subscribers was so strong that I justified posting this video, knowing it would get more subscribers. I also thought I should give it to Sabu-chan. So to be honest, I was being stubborn. Sorry, I will be more careful from now on. I, I, you might have hurt your... I don't know if that, that's going to hurt them for real. Nintendo directly told us that the video was unacceptable. So in the future, we will be careful not to mix excessively sexual content with Nintendo content. Hey, I could have told them that that that's something that I, I, I could have even just like been like, hey, that's that's just not a good idea. But, you know, maybe they're going to get more eyes on them. But I feel like you hurt your like children consumer base when you do that. And, you know, parents may not want you to like maybe they'll they'll think of it as them slipping up. But there was this one tweet, uh, and I'm sorry, I, I I just have to bring this up that was under the golden Nintendo tweet. And it basically said, bravo for Nintendo. I hope they succeed in removing all the inappropriate content from the internet that fans have created based on all their properties. Make me love Nintendo America more. Can't wait until they go after the degenerate Animal Crossing New Horizons art. Buddy, I don't even think they did anything about that content creator on Twitter. I don't know if that went anywhere. and You know what I'm talking about. I know you've seen that video. I know you've seen that video. It's interesting though, as I said, I, I, I really do get why Nintendo will want this down or something like that. That, that does make sense. But hey what do you guys think about this and as i said my last video i know was a little bit like heavy i have been wanting to talk about that for a very very long time just to let you guys know that i did also catch the nintendo direct just to let you guys know but the only thing i really thought was dope was star overdrive there were other things that were really cool like definitely the castlevania games from the ds like i, I played one of them and i'm going to definitely get that but hey, outside of that, don't forget to go on your guys' walks. I'm going to catch you guys later. 
Have an amazing day. Peace out.